They have to with all those D6s. Okie dokie. Oh no. Okay. Technical difficulties. I had that trouble earlier. It was because boy's mom was being stupid, so I'm like, okay, let me fix this real quick. Can we be heard oh, too? Can we be heard? Oh, Hold on. Ladies and gentlemen, we are experiencing some minor technical difficulties. Please hold. Ironically enough, yes. Now we are back up and running. Yeah, oh. yeah, sorry. I looked at the I looked at my uh my audio mixer for OBS and it showed my microphone picking nothing up and you guys were being picked up perfectly clear, so it was like you guys started the stream technically. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh, no. oh, 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 okay. starting streams. Yes, welcome to my pain. <laughs> anyway, let's let's try this again. Welcome everyone to Pokeception Tech. You must have rolled pretty high to find our quiet little stream. I am your game master, Brownie of the Dry Charge Gamers, and joining us tonight is the ragtag crew as you, hopefully, know and love them. Say hello, ragtag group. Hello. You see names? Oh, We're joined by. <gasps> Where is he? Master Chief Senpai! Please come to me! <laughs> Wait, hold on. Wait, actually, don't come near me unless he has two needlers, because we know that's the most OP weapon in Halo. <laughs> come on, anyone who's playing Halo, it's simple. One needler? Nah, two needlers. Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah. I never played uh, Halo, so I don't know it. Or at least for that was a Halo, and I almost for a second thought it was a Chrome game when I'm like, wait, no. Never <laughs> the mind. short version of Needlers: think machine guns, but alien tech, and they fire crystal spikes. Oh, so like the BMP. Yeah, Two kind words. of. Two words: hammer, shotgun. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Nah, I, I prefer my personal favorite. I prefer sword bazooka. <laughs> that works too. Oh no! That'll be the enemy reaction there. Yeah. Anywho, sorry. Back on track. Yep. Moving onwards. Thank you. So moving onwards. Um. So we got our red tech crew here. We're joined by Aeon, Heidi, Floof, Theon, Lena, Knight, Dell, and Hannah. That's the brief done. You can see their names on the screen because we're gonna go right into this shit. Hey. Oh no! Hey, what? He moon based <laughs> Alpha, take on me! Uh, it goes on for a little longer it's beautiful. than It goes on for a little longer than that, but for copyright right. reasons, that's about as much as I'm going to play up that. On I should have done the high bit then. I, I mean, mean, I could have set that up in the background, but I wasn't gonna. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Thank you, everybody. Anyways. Hannah, <laughs> I Hannah, I appreciate you doing that, but leave that to me, please. Sorry. Okay. Enough said. I think we've had enough of what's going on here. I think you guys are eager to get to an adventure. So, players, are we ready to roll? Ready to roll, ready to battle. Sir. All right, I think we gotta put on the we gotta put on the joyful music again. Talk about mystery dungeon, mystery dungeon. I need you. Thank you, mystery dungeon. Wow. Yeah, uh, I did a special guest apparently. <laughs> anyway, last time on Pokeception check, team, ah, uh, team. Unity. Thank you. Unity. I'm sorry, brain dead. Sorry. So, you're loud. Thank you. <laughs> Team Unity, after dealing with some exploits on Duford with the events of Deep Blue and Team Rocket, made their way back to Duford with the uh, blessings of Deep Blue the Waylord. As you guys came back and recovered some wounds and had some time to yourselves, you then were greeted by Brawly the leader of Duford City Gym.
after mingling with you guys for a little bit and de and meeting Tycho and Elizabeth on a morning on a morning little surfing expedition of his own, you made your way to the Jufa Gym and you found out of a special ruling that Jufa that Brawley had put in. With your group being as big as it was, that you could decide which six of you would be battling in the gym. Not now, uh, to bring this up, so because Knight wasn't there when we did this, I had Shiksona stay back for a little bit because she was making sure that her Pokemon were okay after being being inside of Deep Blue for some time. So that was the reason why Shiksona was out of action for them, why she's not in this gym. So that's your reason, Knight, in case you wondered. Yeah, I hadn't gotten to review that, so apologies I didn't ask sooner. That's fine. That's my own fault there for not bringing this up. In fact, I will have you coming in the front door in a moment. Oh, right. I forgot your default one was set to that. I'll have to change that at some point, but you should be able to change You should be able to change your token avatar outfit. Alright, let me just here. That's alright. Yeah, no problem. I'll let you do that while that's happening. The rest of you decided to take on Brawly with Kemplar taking a break to the side and letting the rest of you take on the challenge. With a special ruling in place that each trainer was only allowed to attack once on a turn, you managed to take down Brawly and his posse of Kung Fu fighters. And with some casualties and heavy damage done to a few of your Pokemon, you came up victorious when Brawly held his hands up and gave the surrender, saying that was enough. And that was where we left off. So, Team Unity. At this point, the battle is over, and Brawly claps his hands and makes his way towards the group as this happens. Righteous! Have to admit, that was a good one! Have to admit, that seemed a little close in places. Uh, you guys alright? Uh, thanks! You give us quite the surprise. It's with, it's with those strong Pokemon, yeah? Ah, <laughs> uh, look, um... Uh, if anything, I am sorry that it was a bit over the top there, but... Hey! There you go. I've done that for you. I've done that for you, Knight. Thank you. No problem. But nah, well, you guys are building up a team. I have to let you guys have your fun. Besides, you have to deal with the tide of a battle, and sometimes the battle, sometimes the tide itself will turn vicious. And if you can't deal with the viciousness of it, well, you have to decide on what you're gonna do. But still, you guys cope with it, and. You may have had some casualties, but you did your best, so I applaud you on a battle well fought. Thank you. Danke. Now then, uh, who do I present this to? And he holds up the badge in his fingers. So the question is, who has the badge case? <laughs> I think, um, does it Shit, you're right. <laughs> the Templar is gonna walk on up with the badge case in hand. Yeah, as uh, as Shiksona rushes into the gym right behind everybody else now. <laughs> so oh, she, there we go. Yeah, Peace. let's drive in. Uh, Brawly turns to you and goes, "Ah, the one who's oh, the one who's oh, the one who stood out. Uh, who uh, you're." Uh, Kempla, right? That's my name, Brawly. I thought it would be fun to let everybody else have a good time in the gym battle. No! I was right. Nah. Well, it depends if they all enjoyed themselves, but, uh, you must be the leader if you're the one sitting back in all this. Deciding all that. No, I wouldn't call myself a leader. <laughs> well, whatever you do, mate. There you go. And he, and he hands it out in the hand, and you see this beautifully blue boxing glove with a red gem sitting on the bottom cusp. You have yourself 
the knuckle badge. Yeah, I don't have that. I don't have that music, unfortunately. I don't. Do you? Yes. Wait, knuckles? Oh no. Not that one. Not yeah. Uh, you got it, you, yeah, play it if you got it. Oh, that wasn't the thing that I th thought it was because I have one too. I said, big, I said what it was. That's why I was like, I heard someone do it. Yeah, but I thought you had like the freaking gym battle thing, you know, like the. Ah, no. Uh, I need to get then. Don't worry about Sorry. this. All right, so um, as you get as you get handed the badge, um, Kemplar. He takes a step back and looks over the lot of you and just goes, I can definitely tell that there's some proper, proper passion between all of you lot. Although, I'll admit, you, you, your group grew one more. Uh, oh, I see, oh, I didn't realize you had one more of your group. And looks over at you, Shiksona. Yeah, I was checking on my Pokemon to make sure they were all good. But... Hopefully next time. Yeah, no worries, no worries at all. Ugh. Well then, I suppose I should leave you to your devices and all of that. I have. The phone call is actually happening on Brawly. Oh, okay. <laughs> Surprise. Was yeah, that was me. What the Yeah, here, I'll prove it. There you go. Off and it's playing now. You have got to give me that. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone remember where that's from? <laughs> Yeah. No, it's from uh, it's from episode two of the official Pokemon anime from season I one. Yes, if I recall correctly, that's when Ash's mom was calling him, right? Uh, when Ash called Ash's mom, yes, but it also was played on Nurse Joy's PC. When it was um, uh, Professor Oak calling as well, uh, it was yeah, both ends. Right. Yeah, Professor Oak called the center to see if Ash got there in the process, see what's happening, and then Ash called Ash's mom to let her know what was going on, and they both had the same ringtone. Hmm. There you I go. Keep all ringtones. Yep. But yes. Anyway. Uh, anyway. Very good. Will you excuse me for just a moment? I, uh, I gotta take this. You go right ahead. Uh, please excuse. Oh, hang on a second. What? Have I? Oh, God damn it! Why did that change? Oh, sorry. Something came up. I had to quickly sort it. Oh. It's alright, it's alright, okay. it's alright. Okay. So Brawly just, he walks away for a brief moment, leaving you guys to your, uh, devices. And he actually heads over to, um, the, the judge on the side there. And you guys are left to your devices, so... Is there anything any of you wish to do? Uh, yes. Momoko wants to check on Arlen, see how he's doing from his bruised ribs from, you know. Okay, fair enough, yeah. So, oh, I'll walk over there. Yep. Alright, so how is Arlen doing exactly, uh, good sir? Uh, well, considering he's hold holding an unconscious Kazuna in his hands after that... Nasty bullet punch. Uh, yeah, he does give a rat's about the ribs. And Bumako notices the rots in his arms and lying unconscious. Oh, poor thing. Will it be alright? I hope so. I want to get into the Pokemon Center if we can leave. Rots. <laughs> oh. Momoko then gives the rocks a rub on the head. It's gonna be okay. We'll get you all fixed up, alright? Blossom! Yeah. Chica! 
Chica Rita's Ooh, gonna come Chica over. Chica! Are you okay after that battle? Chica! You did awesome. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> yeah, while this is going on, Reggie, who's blown a few bubbles in the air, a few of them just float gently just in front of Blossom, and Blossom's leaf just waves a few of them in the air, almost like making a small tornado. Oh, oh that's oh. so adorable. Mama Cole then picks up Blossom in her arms and gives her a hug. I'm so proud of you, Blossom. You did awesome. And the horse is just jumping around doing the little doot doot as it does. <laughs> nah, 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 Tycho is holding holding Reggie like a like like it's a toga pee. Oh, okay, fair enough. And I see you know, the. Oh, I'm sorry. Carry you on. Know, you know, Reggie, I was I I was I had a feel I had a feeling, and your twister was going to be big. But I didn't expect it to be that big. You surprised me. Yeah, you're right, Tycho. I wasn't expecting it to be like that. I'm also, impressed. Yeah. Also, on a side note, you also hear the sound of psh, as Elizabeth and Mochi just give a high five. Oh, man, I was hoping to do the first high five. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> No, oh. to it. All right, Kemplar. Yeah. As this yeah. is going on, you do see Louise in the dis in the side there, just keeping her distance. Yep. You doing all right? Hmm. I'm fine. Hmm. Sure. I, I just, I just turn away. Hey, just. Oh, excuse me. Just fiddling with Chrome, just kind of lightly caressing Chrome's Pokeball. Kemplar puts a hand on her shoulder and says, Hey, don't worry. First thing we do when we get done here, we'll drop by the Pokemon Center so that both Chrome and Keys and Darlin over there can get healed up. Okay? I nod. Mm. Thank you. Don't be, no <gasps> problem. Don't beat yourself up about it. Okay? Okay. Okay. Um, so what's Hannah doing at this scenario, by the way? I saw that Hannah walked away for a brief moment. Yeah, I'm checking out my phone for missed calls, especially from my father. Oh, okay. Uh, you have a look at your Poke gear and... Nothing. There is no signs of any missed calls or text messages. I just sigh on relief. Thank God he didn't call. Beep, beep. I just gave a worried expression. Beep, beep. Zoro just looks up at you with a head tilt. I'm fine, Mysterio. I'm just concerned that my father's gonna call. Beep, beep, beep. It just runs around you in a circle. Doesn't seem to understand what's going on, but it runs around you in a circle. <laughs> also, Lu also, Luna is in the chat, and Luna just said Brownie doing all the Pokemon noises is so adorable. <laughs> well, you know what? Luna's right. Oh. While this is going on, bro. Oh. <laughs> says, all right? Yeah. So Brawly does come back and goes, hey, um, listen, uh, Team Unity, I'm sorry to bog down on something, but, uh, there's somebody who wants to speak to you. All of us? Um, who is that? Uh, yes, all of you. Um, you can come in now! And coming in... Oh, hang on a second. I need to do this properly. What the fuck is that? Are, are, we, are, we all, are we all nervous? I'm zooming in, trying to see who they are. So coming in, you hear, you hear this... And with a... Both doors just slam open. And there... 
<laughs> allow me allow me to allow me to do a extended size so you can see what he looks like. Also, I see another yes, one please. on the corner. Yeah, there's another one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, he appeared twice? How did he appear twice? Huh. That's whatever this person is, Junior. Alright. Here you go, guys. Look to the side and you'll see exactly what this guy looks like. Ooh. Ah. Uh, Mr. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, Hannah done this. <laughs> yeah, so what you see before you is a relatively tall, young looking man, light blonde hair with blue streaks just coming off the front. This this light green eyes and a black and white jacket decorated all over with white shoes and a teal looking shirt as he comes in after pushing the doors his hands up and then he raises his head up and looks at all of you and he just and he walks up and goes so you must be the team unity that Broly just talked about am I correct Yes. Who wants to know? Straight to the point. Well, at least someone's got some manners to say that. Allow me to properly introduce myself. My name is Tide. Spelled T I D E T Y D E T Y D E. <laughs> okay. The uh, reason I'm asking that is so I can do, put it down in. Uh, yeah, that's fine. That's Campfire's fine. Campfire's little thing. But yep. I think this is also the oh. first time. Oh, yes. Yes, you would. As I believe this is also the first time that I'm allowed to do this prop. Oh. Right. Yeah, it should just be this, right? <laughs> oh. I'm resisting, I'm resisting yeah. temptation so damn hard. Oh. To Nice. There we go. Okay. Uh, yeah, you do make a you do make a note. So you don't you know you basically have this guy and you basically can make some notes about this guy. Yep. T Y D E. Right. Yeah. T Y D E. Yes. Okay. I'm resisting so damn much to the temptation of making a Tide Pod joke. <sighs> please don't. Please do not. Thank no, you. Oh, please do not. No. <laughs> you got Lena what laughing at least already. Made, it would be <laughs> no. no, what made me laugh was you saying, please don't. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> anyway, so Tide comes in, and as he walks in, he puts his arms in a fashion as he hears your question, um, Elizabeth. And he goes, My name is Tide. I'm the gym leader of Morville City. Oh, okay. And I came here because I got some message from Broly that you lot had apparently encountered Deep Blue. Is that correct? Yes, yes that's true. Yeah. And we did a huge favor for him. You did a favor for the you did a favor for the big guy. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Very, very interesting. Have I just missed the gym battle? Yeah, you just have, mate. Unfortunately, it was uh, over just before you got here. Oh, darn it. I was hoping to see whether you guys were up for the strength exactly. But strike the wall. Well to essentially challenge me. Really? Are yes. you a gym leader? I am indeed. As I did say earlier, I am the gym leader of Morville. I've taken up after I've taken up after my grandfather, Watson. He uh he decided to step down a while ago. So I took over, but things have been hectic for me to take on some challenges, so to speak. So I figured I'd come by and... Well, I was in Slateport doing a little bit of... Shopping. The next thing you know, I bumped into Brawley. And he apparently received a phone call from... 
from this from the local police who basically called who basically called to say that they had an encounter with Deep Blue and some trainers who were helping them out with some team rocket incidences. I'm going to presume that was all of you. Yes. You would be guessing, you would be guessing right. That was us. Pretty accurate. Hmm. Brawley? Yes? What's up, mate? Um, would you mind doing me a favor? What is it, bud? Would you mind if I have a word with these trainers alone? Uh, I mean, we finished the battle. Did you give them the gym badge? Yeah, I have. Then I'm sure you wouldn't mind too much, would you? Well, I guess, I guess not. Uh, listen, guys, um... I'll best leave you with, uh, I'll leave you with tight there, but I just want you to know, he may come off a bit like that, but he generally is a, he generally is a stalwart guy. I've known him for some time, and for the time we talk together, he definitely has the same passion for what he goes with. Okay. <clears throat> I smile softly and, and murmur, reminds me of my best man. Mm -hmm. um. Anyway, now then, I believe we should have some space. Will you show me where you all met this deep blue? Sure. Uh, sure? Very well. Lead the way. And he makes his way out of the gym. What do you guys do? Before Tycho has a chance to follow him, Elizabeth is going to kind of go to his side and pull him slightly. Uh, I don't trust this. I don't trust this. We can't let him know all of the details. Just give him a general gist. He doesn't need to know about the, what Team Rocket's been doing. Try and let this uh, word go to the others as well. Quick question. Uh, and I let Tycho as uh, I re let Tycho go. No problem. Yes. Okay. Um, yes. Um, Knight, what's up? I'm gonna ask. Would I've been within earshot enough to hear it at all, or no? Uh, I mean, he's gonna tell. He's gonna tell all you guys. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. So I will ask this question. Oh, sorry. So I will ask this question just gently. Is anyone going to the Pokemon Center before we do this? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Fair enough. Then in that case, I will say that for the context of time, he will let you go off and heal your Pokemon for a bit. After about after about 30 minutes, the Pokemon that you went in with have all healed up, and I have been thinking about this, and concerning what's going on with this, you can either have the 30 minutes and recover one injury, or you can stay for an hour and recover two. Stay for an hour. Oh, well, she already ha only has one injury, so I'm going to stay for only the half an hour. So uh, well, the thing has got three of them, so uh, an hour. <laughs> In the span of those 30 minutes, Tycho will have relayed this caution to um, his teammates. Fair enough. So, I will say, yeah, okay, so for the context of things, the 30 minutes go there. However, after the 30 minutes, Tide does get a little bit on the side end, and he does ask the, for the ones who basically are not staying the hour to go up to Duford Beach. Because that was where you obviously all had your encounters. Okie dokie. Alright, give me one minute. Yep. Uh, oh, I've still got your tokens actually on my on my GM layer, so... Oh, you do? Okay. Yeah. Don't worry, it's fine, it's fine. You can put them there if you want. It updates them if you want. Guess I'll catch you up when you get back then. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> 
just I'm gonna you know, stay I'm gonna even though well, even though I don't have yeah. even though I don't have to recover much, I'm gonna stay with Arlen to make sure um is okay. That's perfectly fine. You know what? Hang on a minute, Knight, I'm gonna change this thing now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm changing this that much too. No, it's not that I hate it, it's just kind of, it seems out of place if suddenly we end up on the top of a mountain of a snowy range and we end up going to a different map. Yes, thank you. I'm gonna say jacket up over. on a mountain in our swimsuits. <laughs> well, I mean, and you think, when you think about the Pokemon anime, think about Misty when they did that bloody snow mountain episode. I am not applying that logic here. <laughs> All right, one minute. I'm gonna ask if we can do the non-jacket version now. Non you. Oh, non-jacket version? You want the non-jacket as your main one? Yeah, please thank you. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'll just sort this out quick, everyone. So, yeah. Uh, uh, let me get... Um, thank you, Brownie. No problem. I'll just get uh, our ti get Tide to show up here. What do you guys like of Tide, by the way? Do you like him? Nice design. Mm -hmm. oh, cool. You're welcome. I'm yeah. secretly hoping that we get to the spot where we saw Big Blue, and then he gets down on his hands and he begins to praise the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> the worst part about this is Hannah doesn't even. Yeah, the worst part yeah. is Hannah doesn't even yeah, know I what's going on. Yeah, I have to agree. It would be kind of funny. <laughs> e. Well, the worst part is Hannah doesn't even know what's going on. I just gave her the design. Yeah. Wait one second. Okay. There we go. The mind objection. There we go. Your token's been quickly changed. <laughs> No worries there. Hello, Lil. Good to see you in the chat there. All right. So those of you who are uh, here, uh, so just remind me. So who is staying at the Pokemon Center? That's Momoko, Louise, and anyone else? Arlen. Arlen as well. Okay. That's fine. All right. So for now, I will remove these guys from my map before I lose track of things. Uh, oh, including Brawly. <laughs> And the extra Kemplar token, which is on my GM layer for some reason. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> okay. All right. So he follows you all there and he begins looking around the beach as it happens. He goes, so this is the place that you met him? Yes, it is. We can show you where he's responded to us. Lead the way. I am Lincoln to where we met the blue at. Okay. Do the rest of you all follow suit, or what do you guys do in all of this? We uh, uh, Kemplar following. Okay, Kemplar will be following too. All right. So the info has been passed okay. to both of you guys. By the way, to all of you guys about the whole um, uh, maybe not to be trusted type thing. So you guys are aware of this. Like, don't like don't give too many details. Yeah. Yep. Alright, so, so Tide walks up, and he begins to look around, and he sees the small amount of sand that still skidded a bit from where Deep Blue arrived for the first encounter. And he begins to look around and just goes, Interesting. I'm honestly surprised. And you're definitely certain, I... and you're definitely certain that it was him. There's no doubt about it. It was a giant werewolf. A giant werewolf with telepathy. <sighs> Talk to us. Interesting. So it definitely sounds like the same one. What do you mean by same uh, one? What do you mean? To be specific. I've encountered Deep Blue myself once, but not for the same encounter that you lot have from the sounds of it. What for, exactly? Do any of you know the tales of Deep Blue? How it used to go, ran how it ransacked ships and attacked people that deemed, un that deemed a threat to the ocean? I'm not... Not as familiar with no. home. Yes. Um, 
story. If any of you guys, yeah, if any of you guys would like to, actually, you had some history checks before because you did this before when you mentioned Deep Blue. So the one who does know this, because I made a note of these numbers. Thank you very much. Ah, uh, Tycho. Yeah, the only, the only two, the only two who know this are Tycho and Louise. <laughs> Even then, I'm like, one of which I need here. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So, Tycho, you are aware of the stories. Yes. I know. Yes. Well, I'm glad one of you does. So, how many of you a lot are familiar with Morville City? Never been there. Question, does, my does my character know of the city? To those who would like to, you can make a general education check if you want to see. Alright. I'll just say they take hey. before. Hey, oh, oh shit. Oh shit! Nicely done! Yay. <laughs> oh. oh, look at these. Oh, these numbers are nice. Very, very nice. Except mine. Well, the last level up was Jen Ed. Thank you, Aeon. Oh, fair <laughs> enough. <laughs> that explains it. All right, so, um, Hannah, uh, you don't recall any memories of doing so. Elizabeth, you glanced at a, uh, you glanced at one trip there at one point during your wandering about. Um, but that was the time when Watson was still the gym leader. Uh, for you, Shiksona, you have never set foot there, however, you are at least familiar enough to know of Morville as well as its landmarks based on stuff you've read or watched. Okay. So, feel free to take that. And, uh, Kemplar, you... Well, Morville is pretty much next door to your hometown. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. Maybe Kepler's been there a couple yeah, times. Yeah, you've been there a few times. Biased. You've been there a few times, mostly because the fact of that at one point you were distracted by the game corner. No, no, you, no, not so much that. You were just more distracted by the pretty lights and decided to stand outside it every time. Look at those shiny. Like an arcade, right? Kind of, yeah, sure. Let's go on an arcade now. Anyway. Okay. Yeah, but yes. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. <laughs> so, um, so tied at this point, uh, a secret addiction to Volt or Flip. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> oh my God. imagine that Kepler is actually an expert in Volt or <laughs> Ideas for the future. Oh, oh God. shit! Okay, God. Now I feel like I have to actually. No, 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 don't worry, don't worry, I'll, I'll work some ideas, we'll see what about this for later. Anyway, anyway, moving, <laughs> moving back, so Tide looks at you all, and yes, he goes, Well, near Morville City is a power generator complex, however, things have not been stable enough to go there. What do you mean, unstable? Well, wait. A few times where we've gone to deep. A few times that some trainers. Well, perhaps I should give the full story. If Brawly was no. If Brawly had you guys involved and you guys met Deep Blue, I need to know if this is truly the same thing or find out what you lot did that somehow changed things. Forgive me for being skeptic, but it is near my town. My city, my residence. So you have to forgive me for being a little paranoid on this. Right, all right. Okay. One occasion, Deep Blue appeared near Marvel City. For no reason whatsoever. He turned up at one point and said, well, he turned up at one point and, according to witnesses, he stared at the cycling road that was close by, and then dived back into the water. Obviously that caused a bit of a stir for both tourists and many people alike. I mean, the sight of the great Pokemon Diddy Blue, the giant Waylord bigger than everything else ever seen before. Obviously for a few days it was nice to have tracked that to our town. But then... Things... 
weird. As how? All weird. Near the power generator complex, a large whirlpool showed up. About 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 two days after Deep Blue showed up, it was in the exact spot that it was found in, and with it, it's blocked off our power generator supply, meaning none of us can get there. We've asked trainers from around who have access to Whirlpool, but even they aren't strong enough to actually get by it, which is cause some concerns. Now obviously the stories pass around right now that Deep Blue is somehow the one who's the cause of this. But there have been no other promises nor the sightings of people who have seen, heard, or witnessed Deep Blue doing any of this. So How long ago did that whirlpool show up? At this point, about three weeks ago. Damn, I was hoping I could vouch for Deep Blue. I plan this, fucker! Yes, you have. Wow. Anyway, yep. So about three weeks ago, he showed up and then vanished. No signs, no words, nothing. Are you sure you didn't... Are you sure the townsfolk didn't do anything to upset Deep Blue. From the witnesses that we talked to, no. None of them said they did anything. We asked cyclists who were on the road, we asked some trainers and passerbyers who were around the area, we asked even some of the townsfolk who were outside, we even asked some of the engineers who were just finishing up on a routine check. Nothing. And is the power plant all right? At the moment, we're unable to access it. But when we did the last check, it was about two day. It was about about two hours before Deep Blue showed up. They did that check, and then when they came out, he was just diving back into the water. According to them, they were the last group who saw him. They saw the back of his tail, and that was it. By the, way, at this, by the way, at this point, by the way, um, those of you at the Pokemon Center, your Pokemon have healed up, and you have your free reign now at this point. And there's no other way to get to the power plant, right? No. There is not. Not safely, anyway. The power plant has been etched into the rocks, and it has an elevator that goes down. You could say the plant itself is underground. You see, when when my old man decided to step down, I wanted to do some change. Tell me, are you? Tell me, you're familiar with Morville's typing, aren't you? What it was known originally, which, uh, due to the education part, Elizabeth and uh, Shiksona. And yes, Kempla, because of your location, you do know what type Morville was before. Those who know it, state it now! Thank you very much. Yes, an electric type. It was heavily, it was heavily electrical based. As a gym leader, it's my part to do my best for the town. At least, that's what I did. So we decided to try to harness both plants using hydro-powered energy. We tried to manifest water to turn it into that. Now, in some regard, the Whirlpool has actually increased the amount of electricity into Morville City, which is fine for the most part. But of course, if we don't check on those levels and see how they look after a while, I think you can probably guess what might happen or might be a concern. Yeah, Marvel could be without power if regular checks are more. Exactly. And indefinitely, too. It wouldn't be fun. Concerning you, Lon Encounter Deep Blue, I basically asked Broly to help me here. 
so I could see about it to the trainers who supposedly encountered Deep Blue and survived. You apparently said you helped it, right? What exactly did you help it with? Um, I do not go and... Um, uh, I do... I wish it's to not go into too much detail, but... It lost something. Good. We got it back for uh, him. And because of that, he, he started to soften. Soften up. Make a charm check, Tycho. <coughs> for those of you who have, let me help you with that. Get ready. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I could have done it because I had the high charm check. No, but Tycho's the one. But Tycho's the one speaking, so it has to be from him. Uh, yeah, I, I figured. No, it's fine. No, that's proper role playing. That's you with your concerns as a character. No, I'm happy about this as a DM. I'm like a pro father. Yeah, I figured I would have. I figured I'd have to roll the dice. I <laughs> don't. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to help him with that anyways because my charm skill is. Oh! Hey, he didn't even need my help. Try and help. Oh wow! Right. Well, I love it. That was a Spanish Inquisition of rolls. Well, I mean, <laughs> I mean, you could always do the "let me help you" and he rolls again with a bonus to try get higher. No, no thanks, no, 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 I'm no, no. good. Okay. I, well, I tried. Let me help you with. Let me help you with that. Would only work if he failed the check. Thank you. So, Not gonna lie, I was. I was actually. I was actually remembering that bit as I said that. That's why I. That's why I slowly stopped. Yeah. <laughs> and foot and mouth promptly. Not so much foot and mouth, but eh. Also, I hope. Uh, also, I hope our guests are enjoying this stream. If you guys are enjoying it, please let us know. Anyway, um. So yeah, he looks at you for a brief moment, and you do see this slight eyebrow raise, like he wants to ask what it was, but he just shrugs and just goes, Alright, not my place to question any further if it asks some strangers to be involved, but concerning from the sounds of it, the fact you lot came back in one piece, that says it all. And plus, he actually gave us a treasure as a thanks. Really? Okay. I brought up the pearl to show him. Interesting. Very interesting. Whether uh, or not uh, to Deep Blue who will eventually be uh, fully soften up to humanity, eh, only time will tell. Time will tell indeed. Then perhaps. I should say it's the start. It is. Then perhaps you lot may be able to help me after all. What can we do? Exactly. Oh, oh, yeah. Uh, hold on. What's that, Shiksona? Um, I was gonna ask with Tide, what was the attempt in the water as far as getting past the whirlpool? Oh, yeah. Uh, yo, you you want to ask him? You ask what you want to ask him that? Yes. Okay. Uh, we'll answer that one first, and then we'll get to the Hannah and Tycho Elizabeth conundrum that you three both asked. <laughs> that you all asked. Alright, so he yeah, looks, yeah, he just asked. goes, Well, there were many different people who tried many different ways. Some tried to fly over the whirlpool to get there, but for some reason they were pulled down. Then, some used tried to use a whirlpool to diminish the whirlpool's power so they could ride it to the ascent to the to the generators. Unfortunately, that didn't even last more than two seconds. I think, to my last knowledge, we must have tried maybe 15, 16, maybe 17 different attempts. So right now, we're looking for what we can. I've even managed to call in some help. When he says help, Elizabeth cocks an eyebrow at him. I managed to see if I could get the champion to be involved, but it appears that Brandon is busy. So, I managed to see if I could get hold of Stephen to see if he could help us out too. 
So, but Stephen says he should be on his way, so... In the meantime, I figured I'd see what I can do while Stephen finishes up what he needs to before coming over to Morville. So I wanted to get my research before anything else. I bet a little. <laughs> I bet a little. Oh yeah, okay. Uh, keys in our head back. Okay, uh, so at this point, um, before we get to this little bit here and such, uh, okay, um, so remind me to Elizabeth, Tycho, and Hannah, uh, to the three of you there, what was the question you guys asked properly again? I don't remember asking anything. Sorry, I must have got confused. So what was Elizabeth and Hannah's question before Shiksona brought hers up? It was essentially what was, uh, what was the task that he wanted us to do? Yeah. Ah, thank you. What can we do to help? Thank you very much. Alright, here he goes. Well, concerning you lot knew what Deep Blue was up to, maybe you lot could be something to understand all of this. I guess, in a way, if you lot were involved with Deep Blue, I figured maybe you guys could probably come have a look at this and. Maybe there's something up with you guys that might be able to solve something of this. We'll try to help you as best as we can. Just deciding just like that. Someone straightforward. Well, it need a great vote before you decide anything. Honestly, we need to let the others know and see what they think. Get a collective, yeah. Yeah, uh, I am I'm thinking on it as well. Hmm. Honestly, it's something that we can't really be without power. A city like that? No. It's impossible to be able to run without power. Uh, yeah, that is true. Well, if anything, we have some backup generators from Watson's time and stored some up. But all I can say is if anything does happen, we probably have a maximum maybe four days of electricity before everything goes dark if those generators fall dead. Then it would be best if we head there quickly and let the others know what was going on. Yeah. Real quick before I forget, Brownie, two questions. Hello? Sorry, two questions. Yep. Yeah? One, Sorry. what about Wallace? Oh. Would I be able to would I be able to suggest or no? Or should I run a check for it? I would say run a check to verify the water gym leader. So I'll ask you to make a general education check about that. That's actually a good question, though. Not gonna lie. Well, I thought of it because he was also the uh, champion in Emerald. Yes, fair enough. Uh, Brownie forgot about that. <laughs> Man, I knew they forgot about Wallace too. <laughs> I mean, how can it? I mean, how can everybody? I mean, how can everybody forget Wallace? I mean, Wallace holds one Pokemon that everybody fucking fear. Milotic. Yes. Come on, those who played Ruby and Sapphire have two memories of Milotic. One is, oh my God, make it stop. And second of all, where do I find one? Actually. <laughs> Um, Shisona, or, I'm sorry, uh, yeah, uh, Knight actually brought up a good point. Elizabeth could probably call Roxanne and see if there's any backup to be had in that department as well. I mean, Brody, you have Roxanne's number, don't you? Yes, I do. I mean, if you want to do that, you can offer it and see what happens. It's up to you. I was going to say, then the other question was, what would potentially be the needed swim power to get through? Ah. Uh, Okay, oh, that's an interesting one. Um, as in... There's a good reason uh, I asked. Yeah, as in to get through this? The, the one, yeah, but the power plant. Uh, you wouldn't be able to know that one yet, not till you actually saw it with your own eyes. Fair enough. Because uh, you're basically... That that's, fine. that's fine. Okay, uh, to answer your other question there, so, uh, Shiksona, roll a general education check for me, please. So I'll let you do that. Hannah, what's your question? Well, um, does her, does she get a phone call from anyone? You know, at the moment, you know, so it's been a few hours after the gym battle and such. Technically, it's been an hour. Uh, no, not yet. Mm. I'll let you know. Don't worry. If anything comes through, I will let you know. I have things in place. Don't worry. All right. Okay. Well, so. Because yeah. I know where we're going next. Oh. I just want to make sure. Okay. 
All right, uh, 14, 14. Uh, <laughs> give me a moment. I'm going to roll some dice. I know. I know. I'm sorry. Yes, the, like DM is, the DM is rolling some in real life dice for this. <laughs> With his critical nice. roll dice for the record. Nice. That was cool. Yep. Uh, to be specific, Aeon, I have the orange critical roll set. I have the critical roll symbol as a deed of the net 20. Oh, nice. Yep. Yeah, I accidentally bought two packs. <laughs> no joke. I bought two packs by mistake because I thought they were two different ones. <laughs> okay. Okay. The name Wallace does come to your mind. Yes. Oh, thank God. I, just, I rolled to what see about? the percentage you would know it. Okay. Um, may I suggest that? I'm just making sure. Yeah, go ahead. Me. What about contacting Wallace? Wallace. Oh, the old Stopolis gym leader and then the next champion. Yeah. Huh. He's got his profession with water there. So. You know, I haven't really heard anything from him recently. I'll have to see if my contacts can get involved. But it's a good idea. Hopefully we'll get some luck then. Maybe. Maybe so. Well, you lot have definitely been insightful. Tell me though, where were you all planning to head next? To my hometown. And your well, hometown. Not, technically, technically, we haven't discussed it. Well, I know where to go. Interesting. And it's and it's really important that I had to get back. And where exactly is that? Cineport. Cineport? Or even Slate? Slateport. Thank you. you Alright. <laughs> Slateport. Well, that was where I got the ride with Mr. Briny and Polly to get back, so. Hmm. Well, I know that. Bro I know that. Mr. Briney said he was going to Slateport to pick up a special package, so he should be back at some point, so that sounds fair enough. Then if you don't mind, I think I'll go back there and make my way and get ready for you lot. That is, if you don't mind. And he's going to- A couple of the questions about the whirlpool, by the way. Yes? How wide is the whirlpool? Essentially, it's essentially wide enough that it is literally nearly covering the entire of the ocean area. I'd say you've probably got about two feet from shore to the edge of the whirlpool from the safest bits of land. Okay, thanks for letting me know. Yeah, to, to give a context, because I'm going to do this nicely, if you have a look, if you have a look on the water area that's just behind Hannah, to give an example, it is essentially like like the goddamn it mouse like that. That's a rough that's a rough example. Uh, that's, that's okay. okay. It's it, not so much big, but to give the uh, thank you to give the emphasis on its layout. <laughs> okay. All right. So I thought it would be like that big. No worries. Uh, anyway, um, uh, so uh, Alan. Alan, Momoko, and uh, Louise. Um, before we carry on with this group, what are you lot doing? Mm. Uh, um, how much time has passed? Enough time for your Pokemon to be healed. Oh. An hour. Oh. All right. Oh. All right. Uh, think. I think I'm just going. I'm probably just gonna wait outside the Pokemon Center, I, or try to find, or try to find Kemplar. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll say based on what was going on, you knew they were heading to the direction of where they found Deep Blue, so you are at least aware yeah. on where that was. She's gonna head over there as well. No problem. All right, uh, Momoko, what are you doing? 
Well, while, um, well, since everyone's Pokemon is healed up, ain't, like, like I said earlier, uh, Mamako was take, was trying to make sure Kizuna was okay, but since they're all healed, she, with Blossom in her arms, is waiting outside the Pokemon Center to wait for Luis to get back so they can all go together. Okay, um, Arlen, okay, uh, Arlen, what are you doing? Uh, well, seeing the consultant seems to be re go back and rejoin the whole group, yeah, um, Arlen will, uh, put Xuna back in the Pokeball, and <laughs> pick up Lady in his arms and just walk off to the beach with her Pico cat in his hair. <laughs> Alright. And, and Mamako's gonna follow Arlen. Okay, then, in that case, the three of you, we're going to go back to the other map for a moment. Oh. Mm. <laughs> we're going to go back to the uh, other map for right. a moment. Yes, you three get a little moment. All right. I, uh, I forgot I didn't clean up this map. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Your D. Uh, little boy, you need to clean up your mess. Not now, Ma. I'll clean it up after I'm done DMing. No, But, Mom! No, but. And there's something has to be fixed. I don't know. I don't know what it looks like. But it looks like part of the health bar is on. Mama Cole, yeah, of yeah, it's uh, it, it's damaged from the whale mouth. That's the reason for it. Yeah, I did, I didn't heal you, I didn't heal you up from when you guys took the rest. So that was the reason I didn't do that. Yeah, I will take care of that before the next session. Okay, thank you. All right, so yeah, so the three of you here, as the three of you are coming out of the center, you get uh, well, Arlen. You actually receive a phone call on your uh, on your device. Give me a minute. There we go. Um, yeah, I guess I'll sort of try and shuffle Lady over into one arm and use his now free arm to answer the phone. Uh, okay. Hello. Please do that. <laughs> just, but, <laughs> just for the record, that is five minutes. By the way, that clip. <laughs> that is five minutes. That's five minutes of ring, ring, ring phone call. That's awesome. Can you give me that, please? I will send that to you later. Or if not, I'll find the video so you can get it yourself. So just send us a little... Thank you. I'll put the file in chat later. Actually, actually, screw it. I'll go to YouTube and look it up. That's fair. All right. Anyway, so Alan, you get that. And you get a... Uh, so on the other end, you actually do hear a familiar voice. Okay. Um, one minute. Uh, oh, wow. Um, Larry the third speaking. Who's this? Uh, hey, uh, hello there. Um, that's, uh, that's Arlen, right? Correct. Arlen, it's me, Ted. Oh, Ted. Hello. Just to verify so everyone is aware, Ted is the one who has this. Right. Yep, yep, yep. Just to verify, he has Ted's number. Um, hey, um, Arlen, is, um, is Hannah around, by the way? Not just at the moment, but we're on our way to sort of uh, meet up with the other half of our group. Why? Uh, oh, uh, to answer your question, Sixona, yes. You can decide on the colour if you wish. Alright, thank you. <laughs> no worries. Um, well, we just managed to make we've just managed to make our way managed to make our way to the next to a small little location. It's uh, well, it's close to Morville City. We got some news, and we figured since Hannah was part of us, she should know what's going on. We found a a hint towards Roger. Oh. So, near Morville City, we, um, it's kind of hard to say, but we found Riolu's Pokeball. Okay. 
Oh. By the way, Louise and uh, by the way, uh, are you just speaking to this normally, or is this speaker? By the way. Uh, no, I don't think I'd have put it on speaker just yet. Okay, so Louise, so Louise and so Louise and Momoko, you're just looking at Arlen, and you just see Arlen just go, oh. <laughs> yeah, you're just hearing like, yes, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, in short, we we know it's definitely Roger's one because, well, when when we picked up the ball and Riolu came out. It recognized us, and he started crying. We don't know much else besides that, as Riolu just, well, that's all we know. We even tried to see if his aura sense would do something, because we know Riolus and Lucarios do something about that, but nothing. We don't know too much about it, but... We're going to continue heading north to see if we can find some more clues. And what about you guys? Has anything been going on with you? Uh, no, not much. Um, <laughs> Arlen says lying. <laughs> <laughs> Make a guile check! <laughs> I, I mean, you could just tell him that we just got done with the third gym battle. Right. Yeah, you are, but if you're lying about not much and not saying anything else, I'm gonna have you lie. Uh, well, I just, yeah, he's literally just gonna say, oh, not much, uh, gym battle, that's it. Yeah. Okay, alright. Uh, that's a 14 for bullshitting. <laughs> 14 for bullshitting, great. BS what? check. <laughs> yeah, great. Let it me is see. The, uh, bullshittery art. Oh. Let's see if I can do an SSMS. Smell some bullshit. <laughs> Smell some bullshit. Call Phelps. Mm. <laughs> Not now! Not now, Super Gaming yeah, Brothers! Unfortunately, he failed the art of bullshittery there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'll be a bit more accurate. Buffalo shit. There you go. Thank you. Yeah, he does. Uh, so at the other end, you just hear this faint sort of moment. And you do hear another no you do hear another voice going over the line. You hear a female voice go over it, and you recognize that as Samantha's one. <laughs> and Samantha goes, Arlen, listen de listen, hun. Not to sound not to sound weird, but I get the feeling something else has happened. I mean it can't be as exciting as just a gym battle, right? She rolled sixteen, by the way. <laughs> By any chance, is she flirting with him? You don't know. Well, <laughs> to give you an idea, to give you an idea, she is about in, as in tune to mystic senses as Louise. Yep. That's about it. As <laughs> you sit upon your throne of lies. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Die, monster. You don't belong in this world. Well, you the Anyway. That's fine. Anyway, yes, yeah, so Arlen, you sense that Samantha's sussing you, and then all of a sudden, you do hear Ted just go, Did something else happen? Is she okay? What's going on? Uh, Hannah, Hannah is fine. We're all fine. It's... I, yeah, it's something big kind of happened, but it's not particularly relevant to the to this. I see. I mean, you could tell him about how the money should be sent to his family. Itself. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking meta pi <laughs> meta pigeons here too. Great. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. no. Metapod. Oh, God. Wait, Dell, say that one again. No, it's Metapod. <laughs> That's actually really good. Not gonna lie. I've made metapod this. Metapod 10 
That's fine. You could always go with the other one. You... My, my brain defaults to Meta Pidgey. <laughs> yeah, or you could go with the other one if it's a big one, a Meta Gross. I'll bring you to that. You got That's a point. Really <laughs> That's yeah, I, I, I'll just keep my big mouth shut. I've got to hear this metapod in the distance. I latch <laughs> onto the the uh, convenient excuse that just came into my head from absolutely nowhere. Oh um, God! I just well, you know what? <sighs> We're gonna kind of, kind of leave this as a kind of a surprise, but um, yeah, essentially, uh, my family's company had a bit bit of a photo shoot on the beach that we got paid for and uh Kemplar was gonna send his share to you. Wait what? Yeah, I was gonna leave it as a surprise, but uh surprise. Is it oh my oh my I I wait how much exactly? DM? How much exactly was it? <laughs> <laughs> ah! It's 5,000 in my notes. Thank you! Glad somebody paid attention to make notes! I, like, I was going to say 5,000 as well. Okay, in my defense, I would not what? have paid a single Yeah. I might have guessed that, but yeah. Um. About 5,000 bogey. Oh, wow. You didn't need to go that far for us. F for me, anyway. He could have... I... I really don't know what to say. How about thanks? <laughs> Cool, cool. What? And these random passerbyers seem to keep suggesting things. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm please kill that freaking bird. <laughs> what if? What? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now I just explain. You, know, you, you would think yeah. that after both the Manu session and here, you'd think the pigeon was just gone at this point. <laughs> why do I feel like the high- why do I feel like Lena was like the narration from the Samurai Pizza Cats opening? Will somebody uh, please kill that boy? <laughs> please do me, Blue. We should just mute our microphones for like the next day. Thank you. Oh, yes. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so he, he's sort of just taken back and at this point, Samantha just takes the devices sort of and goes, Hey, Alan, it's uh, Samantha here. Um, Ted can't believe it. He's just stepped back and just stepped away for a moment. Uh, seriously, though, you, you're just going to give him 5,000 just like that? Yeah. Damn. I'm sure he's definitely going to be elated to that. You know what? I'm probably just gonna go make sure he's okay. Um, just give Hannah the small situation on the on the Riolu, and uh, we'll, we'll try to catch up if we hear any more uh, any more information. Okay? Just keep yourself safe. Okay? Yeah, uh, I'm not sure where our group's headed to just yet, but um, yeah, I'll keep the phone handy so we can stay in touch. Okay. <laughs> keep me posted, and. Uh, if Louise is around, tell her, uh, tell her I said hi, okay? Will do. Alright, I'll chat, okay, I'll chat to you later. Keep yourself safe. Thank you. Um, I'll follow Hang up. Who? Uh, Who is that? Uh, Samantha says hello. I... My, my eyes just light up. <laughs> I think that Louise Aww. likes the man. Uh, I was gonna be like the she like the sparkle sparkle. Yeah, yeah, they're like, they're, I think Samantha is like the. If I recall, Samantha's the ghost type one, right? She yeah. is, yes. The one with the rabbit. The, yes. The one with the yes. <sighs> yes. Yeah, um, they bonded a bit. Yeah. <laughs> also got some sort of news on Roger, but, uh, yes, I think we should, uh, probably tell Hannah at the same time. Last time I checked, she was at the beach with the others. 
Yeah, I guess now we've got two reasons to go. Hmm. He just... <laughs> Louise just away. walks off! Ah, mm -hmm. there's Louise! <laughs> <laughs> she, she's not much for words. She's a woman of a, of little to no words. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So Momoko, Alan, you both watch as uh, Louise just walks off to the north. <laughs> and Momoko is going to place Blossom in her Pokeball. Okay. There we go. And she is going to follow Louise because I'm pretty sure Louise is heading to the to the beach, isn't she? You assume by going uh, north, yes. Okay. Uh -huh. I'm gonna stick my phone back on my bumble my phone back onto my belt and go, hey, wait for me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So back to the others. <laughs> Insert. <laughs> yes, you can. Thank you. So the others will be there in a couple of minutes. So we'll get to the you two in a second. There. Oh, Snivy to help Pico with the sandcastle. I mean, if you want Snivy and Pico to have a sandcastle, you'd have to wait for him to get there. <laughs> <laughs> Be very cute. He's in the vines, and So Tide looks at you all for a brief moment, and with a sort of little sigh, just goes like, okay, right. Well, whether you lot all, whether you lot do come by or not, it's entirely up to you, but at least appreciate your time in giving me the information and, well, your insight on what you went through. No problem. Trouble. Though I do have one question. And it turns over and he looks over at Tycho. That coat that you're wearing. That's definitely that's definitely not really so much the look I expect of someone traveling. You a professor of some kind? I as I'm an aspiring scientist, you see. Interesting. What field? Marine bio Marine biology, sir. The, the ocean is my passion. You're training to be a marine? A marine biologist? But of course. <laughs> With that, he walks up to you. Please don't punch me in the face. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you want. <laughs> no. I'm joking. I'm joking. Blue. Yeah, yeah. God damn it, Shiksona. Tycho's trained to be a marine. He's enlisting in the military. No. What are you talking about? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. 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 What you don't understand? No. Navy. It was hell, yeah. and I'm like, I am no, no, no. That. I'm surprised you didn't go with the other one concerning what we're doing. We're doing anime thing. What you don't realize is that Taika will secretly find somebody with the power of the pokey pokey fruit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I think you just—I think you would have just made the pokey us. pokey <laughs> fruit, like pokey flute. Yeah, oh, I know. <laughs> Draymond, don't get no. <laughs> I'll not go further. <laughs> Like, I yes, anywho. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. And with that, he actually looks at you with a smirk and goes, Nice to see a man of the ocean. You got my respect, young man. Um. <laughs> perhaps. Perhaps I should introduce a little friend of mine. This might give something, but you know what? And holds out a ball and, and just. And he puts down. He puts down. Uh, he, oh yeah, Reggie he is done swimming and he just goes to take his yep. side. Right. He just, he turns and throws it away from you, Hannah. He throws it in your direction there and just goes, "Come on out!" 
and out and popping out from a lo from a Pokeball. Oh, is a love disc. Oh, a love oh. disc. Aww. Love that was a little underwhelming. Love this. Templar, I think, unless have you already gotten that data then? <laughs> Give me a bit of that. I've already made the roll. I just got to pull this. Uh, yeah. uh, oh, oh, I forgot. He's got. Oh my God, Pokédex, stop it! <laughs> Okay. I'm like, wait a minute. Fair enough. Yeah, so the love disc actually goes in the water and swims around here. This here is my lovable little part. This is actually one of my little partners. This is Nimble. Love disc! Oh. It's so cute! Look at this. What is Pokemon? It lives in warm seas. It is said that a couple finding this Pokemon will be blessed with eternal love. That you see, Nimbles here is actually one of uh, the first water Pokemon I ever found. To be told, it's what started me on trying to really like them. When, when Watson passed away, not not passed away. Sorry, a wrong wording. He stepped down, not it's passed down. Tired. Thank tired. you. Watson's dead. <laughs> no. <laughs> No, Wait sorry. No, yeah. He just retired. Yeah. But when he stepped down, he <laughs> wanted me to take up Electric as the family gym. Obviously, as expected, and, you know, un not unexpected. But, you know, sometimes you have to follow your own gut. As he gives sort of nimbles a little stroke under the chin. Sometimes you have to go with what you feel is right. And besides, Electric and Water at some kind are kind of both the same thing. They both can be used to power, aren't they? That is true. That is true. And, and, and Reggie, Reggie dudes at Nimble. <laughs> As that happens, Love Disc actually just goes, Love! Love Disc! And, <laughs> and what? Love! Love Disc! And, and just, cutting out again. yeah, sorry. Love Disc! And swims around. And it actually jumps in the air and lands next to you, Tycho. And it sort of just, it sort of starts to nibble very gently on the base of your leg. <laughs> yeah. At this. <laughs> Ankle biter? And he just softly jokes the love disc side. Love disc, love disc. At this point, the love disc just, at this point, Ty comes over and just goes. All right, Nimble. All right, return. <sighs> I'm sorry about her. You see, she loves, she loves people, doesn't she? Oh, she absolutely loves. Supposedly, I've just I've determined that love discs sometimes show affection to other things by other ways. Supposedly, where they show their affection on the first encounter indicates where they basically feel on the level to you. The fact it went to the leg there and went up to the yank and went up to the bottom of your leg showed that for some reason it liked you better than most others. If it started going at your foot, then that meant you just hit the base level. So maybe it recognizes you as someone of the ocean. Well, that is what I am, or what I hope to be. <laughs> Also, Lil says in the chat, am I a One Piece fan? Um, do I have to bring out the Trafalgar lore hat I actually have? <laughs> it's true. I actually do have, uh, I actually do have the hat he wears after the time skip. <laughs> you're, you're talking about the one from whenever they're in Dressrosa, right? That's the one. Brownie, I think you just opened Pandora's box with her, I swear to God. Oh, it's fine. I'm not, it's fine. I don't have her on Discord, so I'm not dead yet. It's all good. I'm just, will, I'm just warning yeah. you, essentially. Later. Oh, hold on, Pokemon, what's happening? Dal's Roxanne's number. Oh, okay. Uh, all right, so Elizabeth, we'll get to you right now. As all this is happening, you actually do get your contact to Roxanne. It does take a little bit to get through, um, but she does pick up. Hello? Hey, Roxanne, it's Elizabeth. Oh, Elizabeth, good to hear from you. Uh, I'll be honest, didn't expect a call so soon. Uh, is everything okay? Yeah, everything's peachy over here. Uh, <coughs> listen, I've got a little favor to ask you. 
Yeah, all right with it. Um, what's up? By the way, at this point, the other three, you are beginning now onto the beach, and you can make your way over if you wish. Okay. There's a little situation that we've been informed of in Morville. I don't know how close you are to it or not, but uh, the long story short is they're having troubles reaching their power generator. Uh, it's being tracked by a whirlpool, so on. Your rock types might be able to get through better than, you know, because they're well grounded. Uh, I, so, I, I mean, I, I can understand that, but rock types in the water? Rock yeah, types in water, not a good combo. You have a point. I understand. It was just a thought in my head. No, no, I appreciate you at least. I appreciate you trying to look out. I appreciate, but what was... Uh, but you said it was a, a whirlpool of some kind, correct? Yeah, it's blocking their power generator. And it's a big one, too. Hmm, that is a... That is a situation. I'm sorry, I'll see what if I can... If you know anybody around that area that might be able to then that'd be great, but I figured I'd just contact you first. No, no, I appreciate it. I, I appreciate that. Uh, oh, will you excuse me one sec. Yes? Oh, just, uh, I'm coming. Just one moment. Uh, sorry, Elizabeth. Uh, some challenges have just showed up. i got to go deal with them, I'm afraid. No worries. you got to do what you got to do. I'll try to get back to you if I get some information. If not, maybe you should see if Broly can get a hold of Tide. Tide knows quite a bit around there. Maybe he knows some answers. Yeah, Tide's the one that told us about that in the first place. Oh. Yeah, so probably kind of beat you to it already. Oh. Well, at least he, at least it was a lucky coincidence. All right, I'll see what I can do on my end, but I can't promise anything. Right, keep me posted. All right. Take care. Click. You too. Oh, that's for us to just help from a particular anomaly. Oh, ooh, ooh, Sixona, ooh. Yep, I already have it in mind. I know who you're thinking of. Do you? Ah. <laughs> uh, you know what? Let's have some fun. Roll a technology okay. check for me. nine you you have a think and as you come up with the idea of something you have a look on your uh, your uh, uh, transceiver your ex uh, transceiver and uh, cross transceiver yeah. yeah cross transceiver thank you I knew it was another word there um okay. as you have a look you realize you do not have any way of contacting them <laughs> would I maybe be able to suggest an alternative as far as contact through, through someone else. It'd be a bit hard at this point. I can't allow too many rules. Right, and as you get... Yeah, so Elizabeth, as you finish this conversation, you hear footsteps behind you, and you see the other three coming up from the Pokemon Center, coming up the beach in your direction. Oh, Peachy! No worries. Where are our three? Don't you are down here. I see two! Where is the third? Where is Mama go? Oh, hold on. I just, I just, hang on. Don't, doesn't have the bar, but still. That's fine, that's fine. Hey, it doesn't work. Hello there. General, General, General. Oh, oh no, wait, dear. I got this. Oh. <laughs> do you need, do you need, do you need help? Do I need help? No. There we go. Yay. There we go. <laughs> All right. Ooh. Yeah. No. I. I had. An, I had the idea on who you were thinking of. Don't worry. I know exactly who you were thinking of. <laughs> I was gonna say, may we say the name aloud, or should I just? No. Uh, <laughs> I mean, if you want to say it, you could say it. I was gonna suggest Marlin. Uh, Why are there two Mamacos? 
Oh. There we go. I got rid of one. All right. There we go. Um, there we go. Yeah, I'm gonna suggest Harlan because he's black two, white two's uh, eighth gym leader, and the white. Yeah, for uh, those who for those who didn't remember this, Marlin is the eighth gym leader of black two and white two. Yep. Uh-huh. Aka okay, the guy who thought a Caracosta, the guy who thought a Caracosta was a great ace, only to find a superior go. Yes, thank you for reminding me because. <laughs> thanks for reminding me. Honestly, black two and white two were kind of a gift. Mm. Eh, half and half. I forgot about their existence. Jeez. No, no, no. I think he was on about like it was. It's it's sort of like it was. It's unforgettable in places, but some areas you just got. It's like why, why should we care about a gym leader who's like just so laid back? He's like, I don't really want to fight you, but fine. Well, there was also the fact that when you did Brawley's voice, I legit thought you were trying to do like a Marlin impression at the same time. Nah, you want me to do Marlin? This is how you do Marlin. Well, it sounded similar to how you did Brawley. <laughs> Well, excuse me, I'm a guy with a limited range. I can't really grab my nuts and I go high. I'm teasing. It's nothing wrong against it. I'm just teasing it. Okay. Anyways. Yes, we're moving on top. So, Elizabeth, as you finish the call, you see the others approaching. Oh, Peachy. You guys showed up. Are your Pokemon all right? Mm-hmm. Good. Yeah, yep. Pico's going off to start making a sandcastle. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no, here we go again. Not again. Okay, uh. Oh, hang on. Oh shit. Here we go again. I'll take it. Alright, so at this point, um, Tide sees all this going on and sees your group around and goes, huh. Well, looks like the rest of your team arrived. Well, if you'll excuse me, I'll leave you guys to decide on what you're going to do. I think at this point okay. now, I'm probably going to head back to Morville. Barney might be some time away, but I have my own ways of getting back. Okay, you take care, Todd. I'll see you soon. You look take care of yourselves, too. Oh, and, uh... Scientist boy. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know your name. I feel bad I never asked. Tycho Montague. Wait, Montague? Don't tell me you're part, you're part of the... You're part of the astute back at Lily Cove, aren't you? Uh... Yes? Why do you ask? <laughs> no reason. Just... Call me a very curious and surprised guy. We'll try to chat later. Hey, but otherwise, if you guys come by Morville, I'll like try to expect your help. If that is, if you want to do it. Otherwise, uh, I'll try to be the gym leader you want at this point. Excuse me. Oh, just oh, as he walks away, as he calls back and rushes by, the the two of you arriving, he gives you a nod and then stops and turns and goes, oh. How many gym badges did your recent win give you, anyway? Third. Three. Hmm. I think I may have to bring her out next. Hmm. I'll look forward to this one. Oh fuck. Which Alan and Momoko <laughs> both hear because of how close you guys are. And he walks onwards with a hand in the air as he's walking away, and he heads back to, and he heads back to Juford, to the last of your knowledge, leaving you all to your devices. This is currently what's going on through Tycho's head, and, and when he took interest in his last name. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> ah, the what? <laughs> You look like a camper van. Yes. Do 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 do. What? <laughs> <laughs> head, head turns into a camper van. What? <laughs> oh no! It's Thomas the tank engine all over again. <laughs> <laughs> Thomas, Thomas the camper van. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
I'm sorry I put that image in your head. Ah, oh, it's fine. It's still fun. All right, anyway, you're left to your own devices, so... It's up to you. Uh, Arlen is going to make his way over to Hannah. Momoko is going to follow because the phone call that Arlen got intrigued her. Okay, fair enough. So Momoko's curious too. So the rest of you, as you watch as Louise goes to Kemplar's side and the others go straight straight to Hannah without even really acknowledging you guys at this point. And Momoko is, and Momoko is going to land Blossom out of her Pokeball for some fresh air. Okay, fair enough. And she's going to pick. And she's going to pick Blossom up in her arms. Okay. Go ahead, Aeon, if you're doing something. Uh, Hannah, can I uh, talk to you for a moment, please? Um, sure. What is it? Uh, well. Uh, maybe you should sit there. I'm gonna go grab one of the deck chairs and sort of bring it over. <laughs> oh shit, yeah, I can move those, I forgot. Alright, I'll move that over here. Pretend it's there. Yeah. Um. Just got a call from uh, Ted. Oh, how is he? Uh. Sounded like he was doing okay. Oh. Uh, <laughs> currently, then. Apparently, we're not the only group that's had a, <laughs> been up to things, so. Not an adventure, but. So, what happened? Um, uh, well, essentially, they're, they're fairly close to uh, Morville at the moment. Um, By the way, at this point, Shiksona, Kemplar, and Louise. I mean, are, are you trying to be quiet with all of this, or. What are you guys doing? Just, just confirming, Arlen. You being discreet with this convo or not? I'm not especially, I guess. Okay, so Kemplar, Shiksona, and Louise are hearing this. Uh, unless Tycho and Elizabeth are properly listening out for this convo, or they'll have to get closer if that's what we're doing. But I see Tycho is messing around with a chemistry set. <laughs> yeah, he's preoccupying himself. Fair enough. Elizabeth. In chemistry play. That's okay, fair. Fine. Got it. <laughs> All right. Elizabeth, what are you doing? Just so I'm aware. Um. Hang on. I want to see if I have anything. Um. Okay. You know what? Um. Is that you said the shop doesn't have a lot in town in Duford, right? Yeah. It has enough Does for, like, it? it has enough for essentials, essentially. Okay. So it doesn't have any, like, specialty kits or anything like that. Ah, uh, maybe if you inquire, they might, but it depends which one you're looking for. I, I was hoping to get that Pokeball crafting kit or whatever it was. Oh! Uh, I'll say you're able to do so. Why not? Let's have some fun. Yeah, so you're able to buy one. Oh, cool! I'll allow it. <laughs> awesome. How much if is that? Oh fuck, I didn't look at I don't have my numbers. <laughs> That's alright, we'll do it later. No, we'll it's it later, okay? the, oh, Dean's got it's it covered. covered. Okay, oh, so it's five hundred it's five hundred dollars. For the Pokeball toolbox. Okay, so that leaves Yep. And then what do I add it as? Pokeball toolbox. It's under key items of the Excel sheet if you're looking there. These toolboxes let those with the know how craft and repair Pokeball. Oh and no! The chemistry that lets uh, lets the user create repels, potions, and other things. Oh God! They're a tag team. Beautiful. I uh. don't. Well, the only things I know how to make are limited. That's fine. It still works. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Carry on, Alan. Hey. Uh, yes. Uh, haven't found any anything of uh, Roger himself, but apparently they found um, his Pokeball, uh, Riolu's Pokeball, with really? the Riolu still in it. 
What? Wait a minute. Is... Is Riolu? The yeah. one with hot ice punch. Yeah, apparently it was uh, rather distressed and upset when they found it. Um, I, I tried seeing if they could, uh, its aura could find any signs of Roger, but they didn't find anything. What? Oh, sheesh. Yeah, <laughs> sorry, I just, like, I just just imagine like Louise. Sorry, I just imagine Louise when she does that. Hmm, just looks away, kind of like thought so. Like that haughty look. It's like I know it. And Momoko is looking down with a de with a depressed look on her face. Like, why would anyone abandon a Pokemon? She's pretty much thinking poor Riolu. What's that? I mean, they didn't really have much else to say apart from they were gonna carry on uh, north and uh, keep in touch, but yeah, I thought you should know. Thanks for telling me, Arlen. I really appreciate it. No problem. Uh, Apologies, remind me again um, what the status of Riolu was. I am so sorry. Or at least put in the notes, that's okay. Fighting Steel? Uh, no, no, the, no, the other the one that they found. Like, right, the okay. Order. Sorry, I'll leave you guys for that one, because it's technically role place thing, technically. Fair enough, sorry. I was asking because my own Riolu. So... so uh, right. Okay, uh, so as the tide is sort of just gently swaying, and to most of you guys, there's just a silence there, as Tycho is just busy with a chemistry kit. <laughs> yeah, and the things that I want to make, um, it costs me, um, well, it, two, so in total, it'll cost me 200, okay? Okay, what are you crafting? <laughs> Um, crafting, uh, like, printed sheets of, um, crafting recipes that, um, were provided to him. Okay. He's making, he's making um, two X accuracies. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the, uh, flew him acting his Captain Falcon. <laughs> yes. What? Yeah, Captain Falcon is a, a, a yes. <laughs> Tell me your moves. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm sorry. So, yep, two X accuracies are yours. It'll take a little time, but you can do it. Yeah. Oh, like I said, um, he's doing. He's also doing this to preoccupy his time. All right. Uh, paper cones. Uh. Oh. I will say, being on an a being on an island like this, Elizabeth, it's going to be a little tricky to find them because there's sand mostly everywhere. <laughs> it does well, find the hole we got on the night before. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good point, uh, yes, Eliz yes. Elizabeth. Elizabeth, could you roll a perception check? <laughs> I was about to ask a question. Uh, since if I'm over by where the shop is, wouldn't there be more greenery around? Uh, oh yeah, there is, you know what? Go ahead, save it. Alright, let me... Uh, go to my... Okay, what is this? Perception? Yeah. Full credit. Wow. Mm, I knew somebody was gonna Damn do it. it. Ah! Yeah. So close! Nothing out of it. Damn it. Alright, I'll try again later for? then. She was looking oh, for she apricorns. Oh, apricorns. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Well, I know it's a silly one. What I really offer. I'm fine with it. I'll hug when we're she, in the oh, grass she's, uh, she's technically too far at this point because I think you have to be in range of somebody to see it and see that happen. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Fair enough. Oh, God. Yeah, I really should go. <laughs> That's fair. Okay, go ahead, Arlen. Uh, Arlen's going to look over in Kemplar's direction. Was he listening to any of that conversation? 
Concerning you weren't being discreet by it, yeah, I would say Kemplar and Louise are there. Concerning Louise reacted. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's fair enough. I can only imagine this face-off like, da-da-da, Kemplar. <laughs> no, Kemplar had a flash of rage in his eyes. Fair enough. Roger's name. Mm -hmm. Roger, Roger. Just so you know, Chris, Kemplar's still pissed with him. Yeah, I gathered. Yeah. Gathered. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I feel like I'm just gonna have a bit of a hate yeah. again. Go ahead, yeah. Bill. Yeah, Louise doesn't like Roger either. <laughs> I don't think anybody on our team does. <laughs> no, no one does. Okay, uh, if Arlen can see that you're looking off pissed off, he's gonna be a little less hesitant <laughs> to say this. Um, Arlen's gonna walk over to Kemplar. And say, um, look, um, while I was on uh, the phone with uh, Ted and everything, um, I tried to sort of downplay what we'd been up to, but they uh, didn't fully buy it. So I kind of had to uh, tell Ted that he was getting a bit, of, that you were sending him the uh, money from the photo shoot to throw him off. <laughs> Sorry. It's all right. I probably would have called him if you had uh, told him. So probably, I probably would have had it as a little bit of special little surprise call anyway. Fair enough. <laughs> the phone call. <laughs> the phone call. <laughs> the phone call is coming. Well, actually, is coming from Hannah. I um, looked at the phone for the caller ID. The caller ID says Dustin. Oh, it's from Dustin. I am. Um, turn it on. Hello? <laughs> wow, I timed that so perfectly! <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so Hannah, as you turn on the phone, you suddenly, uh, you suddenly get the uh, the familiar voice of Dustin on the other end of the call. Um, you you do get this. H hey, um, Hannah. Um, I just got some. I just got off the phone. I just got off the. Uh, I just got back and I found that uh, Ted and Samantha had a word with uh, with uh, Arlen from your lot. I wanted to just make sure you were okay. How are things going? Yeah. Yeah, I'm okay. I was a little bit of an adventure, but I'm okay. Well, that's... that's... good. Um... Have they... mentioned anything recently about what's happened, or...? Yeah, they told me about what's going on. Is Riello okay? Well, right now, he's with me. And... Well, he hasn't stopped letting go of me ever since we got him out. Can I, um, see him? They're Pokey Gears, they're technically... Well, yeah. they're Pokey Gears, their voice yeah, calls... Speaker. Oh, oh speaker. speaker. Okay, so speaker. So, you do hear this... Ryo. 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 Are they so scared? He's gonna have a fucking heart attack from the cuteness. <laughs> you hear Dustin just go like, It's okay, it's, it, it's Hannah, she's just on the other side of the call. And, uh, no, Riolu, come back! It's okay! Riolu, Riolu, she's here! And gets louder as approaches the voice, the, the, the call. The receiver. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. I'm right here, Riolu. I'm right here. You don't need to be scared. Riolu. Riolu. <laughs> I have been working on this fucking voice, you can tell. <laughs> well, you're doing it very well. Heart meat puddle. <laughs> you are getting so much more practice because of my Riolu, too. <laughs> yes. Any. Yeah. Anyway. Riolu. Uh, Dustin at this point goes back on the call with you, and she just goes, 
He's been like this for a while. I think he's generally just trying to know that this... Voices, if you catch my wording. So no sign of Roger after what happened? No. There was... there was someone saying, and we got a hint, that they were heading north. But they didn't say where or how far. Dustin, but... may I ask a um, favor for you? What is it? If Roger can't be found and Leo is scared, I like to take care of him. Just to make sure he doesn't feel scared anymore. Roll a, roll a charm check like you wouldn't believe. What's it good? Oh boy. <laughs> Hold on, let me get it. Five D six with a one. Hmm. Give me a minute. Oh no. I hope it's good. Trust me, for a person who loves Riolu and Lucario, he blame me. <laughs> I think technically Lucario is one of the most popular Pokemon out there. So you wouldn't be alone. In True. You hear, you, you hear a loves them too. you hear a small little hum on the other end. Well, uh, we'll we'll see. I mean, technically, this was Roger's starter, so I guess we'll just have to wait and see what we get from that end first. After all, it could be a dropped Pokemon. It could be abandoned. We don't know. Until we find out that information, I don't think we best worry about who takes care of him afterwards. Alright, can you inform me what happens? Just to be sure. I mean, sure. I mean, if you want to. You know you can come back and help us, you know that, right? After what Roger did to me, I don't think no. so. You know what happened. I do. But at the same time, I... No. No, I... I understand. But don't worry, doesn't mean that we're friends. Take care of Riello, alright? I will. You take care of yourself too. Right. And it just instantly drops as you say right. I just let out a little sigh. Blossom. What I would do without Kaneki. If you want to give him the benefit of the doubt, this is Gumplar speaking up, then let's assume that Riolu was dropped and Roger is somewhere else, possibly kidnapped. Of course, that is what I would imagine the best case scenario. It might not necessarily be the truth. We don't know. Well, at least we now know where they are. I just hope that Riel is gonna be alright. Me too. As much as I'm not particularly a fan of Roger, and I don't think any of us are, I can't imagine leaving my starter behind if... <laughs> I know that feeling, Arlen. Momoko didn't just hugs 
blossom tightly. I'm already sure. dreading the day that I have to put a Pokemon in the box. <laughs> I mean, I know that they're going to be taken care of well, but I'm don't I'm not looking forward to that day. I love all my partners. <laughs> it's definitely, it's it's always just difficult. Like I think about it, and I'm like, I don't want to leave any of them behind. I want them to experience everything with. Me. Yeah, I know that feeling. By the way, as you're having this conversation, all of a sudden. And as you hear this noise, you turn and you see that as Mochi has tried to go on top to place a small rough flag on top of the sandcastle, oh, it all falls apart. <laughs> and all of a sudden, you actually do see that Pico is nowhere to be found, and then suddenly, oh, no. <laughs> just comes up from the like... sand pile like. Was buried under the sand. That's exactly yeah. what happened. Oh no! Uh, Whenever he's been outside, he's all kind of uh, dig him out. At least, uh, at least Pico got out. Yeah. J Joltik at this point just sort of looks at the sand and with a small little claw just <sighs> brushes it to the side in frustration. Oh! Uh. <laughs> Yeah. As this happens, yeah. As this is going on as well, Beatrice uses the tail to try and wipe off the sand off of Pico, and Snivy then gently wraps around M Pico and shakes That's exactly it up. That's what I was writing, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> you made me do it, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and Moti, at the uh, Moti at this point looks over, and just goes Ika, and just just rushes straight and rushes around and just instantly clings to Tanko's leg and like. Then Snivy basically like reach over and just snap at the crowd with a with a wow. <laughs> At this point, Elizabeth is coming back from her little shop. <laughs> oh, yes. she, she sees this happening, and she looks at Tycho like, "And won't might you know the little Pikachu's a traitor?" Pika. <laughs> Tycho looks down at um at Mochi. <laughs> like, you mind? I'm in the middle of something. Pika. <laughs> Oh, I mean, get it, right, yeah. the dog did at the dog park. God. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I was like, what are you doing touching my dog? Uh, did you not see he was trying to kill mine? <laughs> As... It is at this point that Heidi realizes that the tough girl has the cutest Pokemon surrounding her. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, I look at the, for the some reason I look at Elizabeth with both those two there, and I just keep thinking. I just want to shout, "Let's go!" No. Funny. Yeah. I would do the sound for, but I'm gonna behave. Wait, Heidi, did you just do it? Gladly. Oh, there we go. The DM will remember this. I don't care. You're the one that made fun of me. What did I do? Anyways, so as this is going on, as you are having this conversation, all of a sudden, a cold wind just blows over all of you with this sharp. You literally have to cling yourself a little bit with how sort of sudden it came by. Ah. Uh, like, take off the hoodie and put it on. When it went so. Oh. Immediately, Elizabeth looks towards the ocean. As you as you look to the I'm ocean, sure as you look to the ocean, you see. I'm so glad I had this ready. Uh oh. Uh oh. What? We see a little girl out on the beach. Yep. Yeah, there's a little girl, and she's currently looking out towards the ocean. Is there a supernatural uh, presence? Oh wait, you have you have, have the you have the sense. Like oh that. wait, do you get the sense of that? Hmm. Do you get the sense of that? No, no. no. Well, I, 
I, I was going to ask if the, I was going to ask if 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 there was any if this was a supernatural occurrence. Make an occult check. Okay. Right. Occult check it is. Yep. Nineteen. You get a you get a minor sense that this seems supernatural. Minor though. Hmm. There's. I sense something. What is it? So. There's something supernatural here. There's a presence here. I'm just not sure what what it is. There's only one way to find out. Yeah, I'm gonna say I agree with what Eddie said in chat. I'm like, I mean, nothing fine. Louise is going to go up to the girl. Okay, Louise is going up. So, uh, what do the rest of you do? May I follow? I, I follow Louise. I just said distance. So do, so do I. I, oh. follow, I, follow, I, follow, I follow Louise. The girls. Oh. Actually, I'm just gonna say, I'm just gonna bring out Rio and Pestadora sensing. Okay. Tycho is just gonna shrug off the cold as best he can and finish what he's doing. Okay, fair enough. Uh, I'm switching out Beatrice and Mochi for Death Nugget. Okay, do. And you guys, I'd be basically still comforting so Pico and keep it warm. Yeah, fair <laughs> enough. So as as you four approach the little girl, her back is still turned to all of you as you approach. Is she gonna jump scare them? I swear to God, I will end up screaming. Yeah. I hate jump scares and loud noises. Louise likes ghosts. <laughs> oh, I know that one. <laughs> I'm just saying <laughs> myself. I'm just saying myself. Ellen and I already know what Louise's next class is going to be. <laughs> oh, God. Mm -hmm. Oh, I keep forgetting the slash. <laughs> Go on then. That's how you do it, so it's okay. Would there be any kind of check to see how uh try to investigate this moment? Uh concerning you know from Louise it's supernatural. You'd ha you can make an occult check if you want to verify this more. See if mine's not as high, but let's Yeah. Oh. No. Damn it. You're basing this on the knowledge of Louise, and that's all you know, too. Damn it, well, I tried. Anyone else got higher than a two on that? No. Damn it. All right. The only person who has a higher than two, to my knowledge, is Louise. All right. Can, well, can, I get a, can I get a better sense of the occult presence? Uh, due to that 19... You do sense something is heavily off about this girl, but it's hard to pinpoint the exact thing with that 19 from earlier. Mm. Just a bit short of the DC, I'm afraid. The girl. There's something off about her. Off. I look over at Louise and ask, what do you think? Cursed or mm. in, a, in a soft boy. Shit, I just I just stare I just stare at the girl. What is, what is the girl doing? At the minute you see her dress just blowing gently with the wind. She's not reacting to the cold. She's just staring straight out towards the ocean. With the tide slowly covering her feet, and she's just stood there, just not even moving. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's going to be possible to talking to her. I read, I reach out to the girl. Okay. I'm gonna attempt to tap. To tap her on the shoulder. You actually do tap the shoulder. 
Mm. Like physical contact? Yeah, physical she, contact. Yeah. She, she's not a ghost. Then what's going on? Yeah. Yeah. Is she some kind of trance? Yeah, what's going on with her? Wait a second, I got an idea. Momoko then walks over to the side and snaps her fingers to try and get the little girl's attention. <laughs> okay, you do so with a. Oh. Oh. Yeah. What's yeah, the noise? Oh, so God damn it! I knew this microphone wasn't sensitive enough. There is a click. I I tried clicking three times. I'm sorry. Gotcha. It's okay. All right. Yeah. So you do so. After the first two, nothing. The third click, you do get a response, but she doesn't snap back. She just stands there and you just hear a voice. The ocean. Calls to me. <laughs> Shut up! No one knows. <laughs> huh? The ocean? The ocean calls to me? What? The ocean, it, it screams, it cries, it fears, it tears, it destroys, it rips asunder. It's a scary uh, thing, isn't it? I'm... I'm... Okay. I'm going to channel puppet. Okay. And that, and that, and then I'm going, and then I'm going to enact shared shared senses. And then, and then point puppet towards the, and then point puppet in the direction of the ocean. Okay. Puppet looks at you, then looks out. She's it, puppet even flies in front of the of the path of the little girl, and looks out towards the ocean. You don't get the sense of anything. Hmm. And puppet and puppet sees nothing. No. Hmm. Nothing out there. What if it's then not cool? something supernatural out there in spirit? What if it's something more natural? No. Maybe something psychological? Mm-mm. -mm. I, I sense... I sense something, and it's stronger around her. I look at the little girl. As you say that, she turns to a sharp look with a... No, not you. I'm talking to him. Him? Him? Do you think? Do you think Daddy will be ready for me now? I really have missed him. I'm. I look. I look around for whatever. Like in the girl's direction. Do I see anything? Make a perception check. Ooh, perception check. <laughs> You've already made that joke this session. I know. <laughs> okay, perception. Eight. Ooh. That's Eight. Six, isn't it? 
Uh, that's a, that's a crit with 2d6. Uh, nothing in view. And you feel confident there isn't much else. But as you're glancing around, you then turn back, and you suddenly see that the little girl walks into the into the ocean. Okay. Her head is staying up as she does so. Even as she goes deeper, she doesn't show signs of swimming. She just stays there floating and disappears into sort of what looks like a near sense of mist. And as she does so, you hear one last expression. Daddy, I'm coming. Please have the arms uh, this time. Uh, and vanishes huh? out of sight. It, what just happened? I what the fuck? I point Puppet in the direction of the ocean. Have him... Shopping. And have him... Yeah. Shopping. <laughs> and Shopit flies off into that direction of the fog, and so of the small sense of fog. Shopit doesn't see anything, but there is a heavy set of just eyes glancing around. And you suddenly hear this... Something out there. Do you think um we can um drive it out? Is it out there? Uh, <laughs> Kepler's gonna start moving closer. Okay. I might have a bit of a start with this, but would there be any potential for Yolo being able to potentially send something? Kempler! Stop yes. stop for a moment. All of a sudden, around that area, a heavy fog clouds over all of this top area, leaving this area up here as just the edge of the fog, as all of you are encased in it. What's going on? What's going on? What's happening? Is Kempler, to, is Kempler gonna burn his hand again? Kemp uh, Kempler? Yeah. I would like you at this Kempler at this point, um I would like you to make an acrobatics check for me, please. Okay. Uh do where is it? There it is. Are we only Oh Okay. Sure, okay. As you do, you suddenly get the sound of something flying in your direction. You manage to move out of the way and you hear, and you suddenly see something standing before you. Okay, moving out of the way. <laughs> Are we scared yet? <laughs> I know. I'm a nerve at minimum. So, Kempla, you hear the sound of something flying towards you. And with a brief moment, you just hear this as it just lands close to you. Okay. What do you so it do? lands close to Cap. Does he see it? Make a perception check to see if you can see through the fog. Okie dokie. Let's see, do, do, where the hell is it? There it is. Rolled. Okay, uh, yeah, sorry, I've got some stuff I'm looking up here for this one. Uh, what's your number? 23. Which one six? Ooh. If that makes a difference. Yeah, it does actually. Um, do you have. Uh, suppose I'll ask the question. Do you have any ones in that list? 
any ones in my list? Ones. Oh, ones in that list. Yes. Oh, no. No, no ones. Okay. Then this is going to be very, very interesting. Oh, no. Please excuse me. I have to get something. Uh oh. I'm scared. What did I do? <laughs> oh, don't worry. I think I think burning, burning backup plans. Don't worry. A... Chris, did you unleash a creepy pass upon us? Nah, nah, nah. Well, I think one of the worst well, creepy pasta is probably Carpet Kitchen, so. No, thank you. Why am I not uh, downloading uh, this? Damn it! I, to, damn it! I need uh, this! Uh, uh, <laughs> Fuck. Arlen will take one step Thanks, away from the phone. <laughs> fuck. Perfect. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck. I'm trying to get... I'm, I'm trying to get this motherfucking piece of food. The suspense is eating alive at every one of us. That's not what the... Motherfucking... Buddha said this went from 10 to 1,000 in creepy factor. Okay, you know what? I gotta ask. You're why I love to play a Jeopardy theme. No. 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 Fair enough. Okay. That's why I asked. Okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Yay. I just. I just. Bless you. I can't. I was like, what the hell? I go. All right. One minute. One minute. One minute. There we go. Sorry. I, look. Let's go. Not gonna lie. Did no, not. Did, did not expect this. I did not expect this. That's the reason I suddenly did this. He's okay. There we go. Got it. There we go. Finally got it. There we go. So Kempler, you hear something land. And in the fog, you suddenly see a small yellow light. And it begins to wave in front of you. And then falls to the ground and just faints out. Oh. Okay. And with that, with the over 20 and with a 6... In the fog, you do see what it is. What the fuck? Oh. No. What? Yeah. what? And that's where we're gonna end tonight's session. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. No way. Okay. Um. I need to say this now, and this is me, Thean, speaking, not Kempler. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, he cut okay, out. Yeah, <laughs> he yeah. cut out. A lot of it, yeah. So, I said. Oh, oh, oh God! Oh my God! <laughs> I think I, I think I'm gonna guess the expression is God damn it! He didn't expect this. Okay, so the thing that I said was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's happy what it is. So, uh, it's beyond everybody panic and run. <laughs> Except no. I'm actually scared. Why? Gotcha. We'll get to that in later, but yeah, surprise! Motherfucker! Of all the things! How does it feel in theory? Of all the things that have come up, I did not expect... Of all the things that have come up, I did not expect to see Watertight Glalie today. I am so glad I'm a Dustin Squares away, because I've got a fucking run. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> you don't understand what the problem is. Oh so, God. ladies and gentlemen, that's all for tonight's session. Uh, <laughs> hey. uh, 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 you know.
I forgot to do the cliffhangers, and unfortunately, it came too well. And it worked too well for the perfection. So, with that said, this is getting interesting. So, what is going to happen with all of this? What was the whole reason behind that little girl? With Kemplar having a Fionn in front of him, where is this going to go? And with Tide's situation, as well as the situation with Roger, are they getting any closer with any other answers? Or is it still just one big mess? Well, you'll have to tune in next time to find out. So, ladies and gentlemen, with that said, if you were charged with joining with this stream, be sure to hit subscribe or follow, and I'll see you all for the next stream. A small heads up to mention, next Sunday I will not be streaming due to work getting in the way, but next Monday we should be back at Manu. So sadly, these Poké players have two weeks to wait to find out what the fuck is going on! <laughs> That's what's going on. Yeah, but we'll see what happens here. But what exactly is going down? Well, you'll have to tune in next time and we'll try to find out. So with that said, it's goodbye from Brownie of the Joy Charge Gamers. It's goodbye from Aeon! What the shit? It's goodbye from Heidi! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Up. Welcome, Heidi. Heidi. Oh. It's goodbye from Floof. <laughs> oh, fuck. I can't believe you've done this. Uh, I don't know if she came back, but goodbye from Lena. Sayonara, people! And Chris, you're one evil bastard and I love you for it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Did, I suppose I'm gonna ask this, Lena. Did, I know you went to get food, but how much did you catch of all this? Well, I noticed that you had the little girl, and then you had some, some people get. I think. Ah, uh, crap. Screw it. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> oh, she, she got the gist of it. She doesn't know what's going on. That's fair, that's fair. Best, her DM is best for de de devious mastermind. Well, maybe. Uh, am I wrong? Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, goodbye. So I said goodbye from Floof. <laughs> goodbye. I think I lost track of all this with all this fun. Goodbye from Dell. Boy, everybody. From Night. Oh, oh yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> Yeah, no, 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 I've got me. Goodbye, go. <laughs> goodbye from Hannah. I thought I was into creepy shit, holy crud. And goodbye <laughs> from Theon. Okay, so do we have time to go through, like, the first page of Kemplar's diary? <laughs> if you want to go through it now, go for it. Is everybody okay with that? Yeah, do yeah. it quick, yeah. Maybe at this point, maybe you should be the recap with the diary entries. <laughs> The way that I plan to do this is Kemplar's going to write these at night, so at the end of an in-game day. And what he, that entry is going to consist of is all the shit that came in from that in-game day and anything that he records during that in-game day. And if he doesn't do that, then he's going to fill backlog, and he's going to fill a backlog of uh, entries that he's been holding on to. That makes sense. Okay. Go ahead. Well, Dad suggested I start keeping a journal about what happens in my day-to-day -day life yesterday. So I'm gonna start doing that by writing about today. Today has been quite eventful. It started with, off with us waking up and trying to leave the Pokemon Center, only for Louise and Samantha to get stopped from going out the door. <laughs> uh, turns out someone placed a talisman underneath the carpet just before the door, and getting rid of it allowed them to move through it. Uh, unfortunately, in the process of destroying the tag, Arlen was paralyzed for a brief moment until we could get the pieces out of his hand. Uh, he was a little hurt later, but I'll cover that in a moment. Uh, we arrived at Mr. Briney's dock where Tycho finished up, or fished up an injured whale mark. Poor guy looks distraught and awful. Momoko seemed to know this whale mark, so we loaded it up into Mr. Briney's boat, and we set sail for Duford. Hannah, Momoko, and I were crushed a bit by our whale friend, Hannah having fallen over beforehand, before we met Arlen's friends, Carlos and Susanna Brimstone. They got us set up with McGarments, and we all struck neat poses in them for their magazine. 
As we were all getting ready to take a group picture, a whale lord known as Deep Blue rose out of the ocean's waters. <laughs> I'm doing this. We called them down. We called them down. We called them down, and he told of us his problem. So we went on an adventure. We rode inside his mouth and arrived at an underwater cavern. I learned that Elizabeth had a hard time swimming, so we set up a rope that would let her cross a large body of water more easily. We freed a prisoner we found there, Group Garcia, and learned that the group causing problems was a subsection of Team Rocket. Mamako came by and introduced us to Shiksona before we went to confront this group of them. Openor and Arlen each took hits from Rollout, but we all came out on top in the end. We found out that these people weren't doing their job by choice, but at the end of the day, we made a mistake of some kind that upset Deep Blue. We ended up going to Rimshore Island, home of the Rimshore Institute. Arlen, Hannah, and Louise stayed behind while the rest of us went into the Institute. We found that it was an old research lab that was used to perform DNA experiments. <laughs> we were attacked, but the jerk must have thought he won because he left us to escape. Heh, <laughs> joke's on him. Uh, we did our best to make sure no other experiments could occur. <laughs> and we arrived back in Jupiter with no issues. Tyler and Elizabeth stepped outside on the dock last night, and Arlen is currently in bed resting. We're going to try to take on the dude for gym tomorrow, so I should get to bed. I'll record more as time goes on, or for the next few days, I'll record bits of what I know for archiving as I'm writing these. <laughs> and then I have, like, a whole bunch of shit written down for, like, what's currently in Kemplar's archives. Cool! I hope you liked my little thing. I, I hope you liked my little display. That is yeah, I saw it out of the corner of my eye, and I had to stop myself from giggling. <laughs> so pretty much Kemplar's entry was. So pretty much Kemplar's entry was just. Dear diary. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh God. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, God. Okay. Well, that sums it up, especially right? if people are around. Yes. <laughs> this was the one I was trying to find. I'm like, why did I lose part of it? I'm a lot of Are you guys still streaming now? I'm about to push the button. Yeah. Okay. So, we'll have to wait and see where this story goes, and we'll see more diary entry fun from Kemplar later. <laughs> but of course, let's see where this story will go in two weeks' time. And with that said, everyone, this is Brownie of the Joy Charge Gamers signing off on Pokeception Check. And just remember, my friends, be sure you roll high. Because otherwise, <laughs> goodbye. Catch you all Bye. later. Bye. Bye. Bye.